Hello, my name is Glendon McFarlane and I'm from Jamaica. There are lots of misconceptions about my country, Jamaica, and who we are as a people. But wherever we are in the world, we are still proud to be Jamaicans. Almost the same number of Jamaicans live outside of Jamaica as those who reside at home. Don't ask me if I smoke weed, because I do not. And every Jamaican do not smoke weed, only a small fraction does. We are not a nation of weed smokers. The Rastafarian group in Jamaica are, use marijuana as a part of their worship and perform certain rituals in their worship ceremonies with marijuana. Marijuana, also known as ganja, and weed in Jamaica is, is, you know, a lot of people do not know that Jamaica is a very Christian country and is one of the countries in the world with the most churches per square mile. As you may know by now, we are a nation of very talented people as we have many world famous athletes such as Don Quarry, Merlin Hattie, Arthur Wynn, George Roden, Herb McKinley, Hussein Bolt, Shelley and Fraser Price, Omar McLeod, Hansel Parchman, Sherika Jackson, Veronica Campbell Brown, Dion Hemmings, Antonio Watson, who all won gold medals in both the Olympics and World Athletic Championships, and many others who participated in athletics who are too numerous to mention, you know, names that I haven't included. But there are many more great athletes than those I've mentioned in Jamaica. Jamaica is a very popular tourist destination. You know, it's in the, within the Caribbean, it's a very popular destination. Last year, Jamaica had 3.7 million tourists visiting Jamaica in 2022. It is really sometimes shocking some of the notions that are out there about Jamaica, which are really way out as far as we are as a people. Far from the truth, we are located to the southeastern tip of Cuba and lies just 90 miles from that large and beautiful country of Cuba, with which we were one, once connected administratively under Spanish rule for a period of 161 years. So for a period of 161 years, Jamaicans spoke Spanish under the, the authority and government of, of Spain, of the Kingdom of Spain. But in, you know, that, and that was from 1494 when, when um, Christopher Columbus came and claimed that he discovered Jamaica, and that was in 1494. And that continued to, to 1655 when Jamaica was captured and came under British, the British rule from 1655 by Admiral William Penn and General Robert Venables with their band of thugs that captured the island from the Spanish. Jamaica is famous for its art, its drama, its music. You know, great artists such as, such as, um, you know, great, there are so many great painters in Jamaica. You know, Barrington Watson, Brian McFarlane, you know, among others that I could mention. Reggae music, is the, 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 the uh, you know, has put Jamaica on the charts. So it's a popular place for reggae music, so-called dancehall music, made popular by people like Bob Marley, Rita Marley, Bonnie Whaler, Peter Tosh, Jimmy Cliff, Marcia Griffiths, Gregory Isaacs, Freddie McGregor, Sean Paul, and many others, you know, um, people, people even like um, Shabba Ranks, you know, 
have really popularized Jamaican music. Jamaica, which is just close to 4,400 square miles in size, exported with, within the past two years, it exported 21 million tons of bauxite, alumina, and that is for the production of aluminum. You know, you as as we may know, aluminum is used in the manufacture of mostly motor vehicles, engines. You know, if you are driving a Ford motor car or any motor car manufactured in the United States, chances are that the engine and and many of the body parts in that car were 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 manufactured from the aluminum that came out of Jamaica. So Jamaica is a very important country within the world because of these very important mineral products that are extracted from Jamaica on a yearly basis. You know, don't downplay Jamaica as, as, as an insignificant country because Jamaica is a major world player in the world. You know, it's a major world player because it, it produces talents and it produces minerals that are important to the world, to the developed countries who manufactures motor vehicles and aircrafts. You know, the, 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 you know, the manufacture of aircrafts, for instance, rely heavily on Jamaica's alumina, aluminium. You know, the, the manufacturer, the body of all these big Boeing 747s and, and the, the, those A300 big major aircrafts. Raw materials comes out of Jamaica. So Jamaica is a very small but very influential nation in the world that plays a leading role in the United Nations also. Even of recently, when the United Nations Secretary General came to Jamaica to take our leading role in climate change, many people are not aware that Jamaica is very a very Christian nation. You know, the religions in Jamaica, the most dominant and prominent religions are, uh, you know, Protestant. We, we are 62% pr Protestant and 2% Roman Catholic, 2% Jehovah's Witnesses, 3%, you know, of other unstated religion, and then 10% of other denominations. You know, so 62% of the Jamaican population are Protestants. Jamaican Protestantism is composed of several denominations, such as the Church of God, which is the most popular with 24%, 11%. The next popular is Seventh-day Adventists. And Seventh-day Adventists make up 11% of the population. 10% are Pentecostal. 7% are Baptists. 4% are Anglican, 2% United Church, Church, 2% Methodist, 1% Moravian, 1% the Brethren Church. The Church of God has 111 con congregations in, it, in six regions. So behind the Church of God faith, Seventh-day Adventists are the next popular faith. There are about 50,000 Catholics, you would say, there are maybe more that are in Jamaica of lately. But 50,000 in the last census was the amount of Catholics in Jamaica. Very soon there will be oil drilling in Jamaica. Oil deposits on land and offshore was discovered that is equal to approximately 2.4 billion barrels of oil, the largest find in the English-speaking Caribbean. And more than, but more than Tri Trinidad, it's much more than tr what is tr in Trinidad and Tobago, but m less than what is in Guyana was discovered in Jamaica. Any trip to explore Jamaica for its rich Christian culture 
its art, its beauty, its food, and its many beautiful landscape, beaches, wildlife, wide variety of fruits and vegetables will be worth it. Jamaican people are quite friendly and very kind to visitors. It is always best to go with guided tours and don't really don't go anywhere that, that you are not familiar with. Always go, go with tour guides. And just like anywhere else, always go with someone who is familiar with the country and its beautiful spots. Thank you very much for viewing. Please share, like, and subscribe to this wonderful channel. God bless you all and have a wonderful day. Amen. The narrator of this video does not share the values of dance hall, reggae, athletics or weed smoking discussed in this video. A true narration from the point of view of the narrator was done by the presenter about his home country Jamaica. As Christians we should be aware that our bodies are the temple of the living God and should not be defiled with secular music, smoking of weed, cigarettes or other drugs including the drinking of alcoholic beverages. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our videos, and also share them with your friends and families. And may you all have a blessed, productive and beautiful day. And until next time, God bless you all.